Okay, we're going to do the AP and lateral femur. So for this one, when we do, you're going to have to do a proximal and a distal femur just because the length of femur, unless you have a pediatric patient, you're probably not going to be able to get the full length of the femur on one cassette. So first things first, when you do proximal femur, palpate as is, put the top of your IR level with as is. Line up your bucky and your tube, put your facet in. When we do proximal, we want to have our patient internally rotate 15 to 20 degrees in order to put the femur on neck parallel to the IR. We want to be right in the center of the leg. And then collimate just to the outer skin margins for your patient. For this one, I'm okay with you guys putting your marker within the light field, that's fine, okay? So this would be your AP proximal femur. You can put GP either above the light field or you can put it on the opposite femur. That's not left, that would be the right. Sorry. Okay, this is your right leg, right marker, lower outer corner. Ask your patient to hold still and click. So this would be your proximal. So then when we go to the, do the distal, all we want to do is move it the bottom of the cassette to two inches below the knee joint. So I'm going to pull that out, palpate the patella, make sure I'm two inches below it, we're good there. For distal, we only need to internally rotate about five degrees, so like you do for your AP knee. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my collimation a little bit, put my marker within the light field. GP again could go above or on the opposite femur. Ask your patient to hold still and click. Next, we have a lateral. Again, when we do a lateral, we're going to be doing both a proximal and a distal. So we'll have Libby roll up onto her right hip facing me. And Libby lines up nice and perfect so her leg is straight. She's such a good patient. We'll go ahead and start with distal since that's where we're at. Again, make sure that the cassette is two inches below the knee joint, which I am. She's in a nice lateral. If your patient didn't go ahead and align their long axis with the table, you could always turn your tube head in order to align your tube with the long axis of the femur. GP could go right over the gonads for this. Ask your patient to hold still and click. So now we want to do a lateral proximal. So we're just going to get the top of our cassette at the level of as is here. I'm going to pull out the top of my cassette and make sure we're good. Everything's lined up. I'm going to have to open up my light field a little bit here to make sure I'm not clipping any anatomy. Some people be mindful of where their opposite leg is, that it's not superimposing the light field you're concerned with looking at. Again, you could always turn the tube head once you've lined up your bucky in order to line the long axis. Libby laid down perfectly for me, so we're good. I'm going to ask my patient to hold still and click. <laughs> 